out for UK inflation numbers that is happening on Wednesday, one day after US inflation numbers. Uh, we'll be paying attention to both of those. Jamana, thank you. Turning back to stateside, and while the tech and industrial sectors are trading at fresh all-time highs, another sector is rocketing higher, IPOs. Check out the space as tracked by the Renaissance IPO ETF, the ticker IPO, up more than 8% last week, trying for its fourth straight positive session in a row. A big part of that move, of course, and one of the largest holdings in the ETF is Arm Holdings. With a 57% gain last week, its best week since its IPO back in September. Is this a short-term blip, or is the sector poised for an even bigger breakout? Joining me now is Avery Marquez, Assistant Portfolio Manager at Renaissance Capital and the custodian of the IPO ETF. Avery, great to see you this morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, there was a little bit of a dip in January. Are you seeing the turnaround? Uh, I believe that we are. Um, as you mentioned, uh, the IPO ETF had its um, best week of the year to date last week, um, primarily thanks to 2023 IPO Arm, uh, which is one of the top 10 holdings. Um, yeah, when we start to see the IPO ETF, IPO index um, improving, that is a good sign for activity as we often use that as a uh, benchmark for performance in the IPO sector. I'm curious because it, it seems like we've seen IPOs in a lot of you know consumer names and things like that, but the ARM IPO and the subsequent performance, has it inspired more confidence in coming tech IPOs? I think it is important to note that ARM is a somewhat unique business um, so while its recent performance might not be a green light for all tech IPOs, uh, it's certainly a positive sign, uh, maybe for chick makers, especially for those um, also looking to play up an AI angle. Uh, a lot of the reasons why we saw more of a freeze on IPOs last year, they still remain. There's still geopolitical uncertainty. The rates are still high. We haven't seen the Fed cut rates yet. So why is there so much optimism around the IPO uh, front this year? I think the biggest factor here is that investors have now had time to absorb and react to that information. Um, it is not so much of a shock anymore. Um, and they are prepared going into this year uh, where we started to see improving returns, uh, settling volatility, as well as movement in that deep backlog of IPO candidates that have been building for the past two years. What, what's interesting is that people who are invested in index funds, largely, if you're in the S&P 500, you're not taking advantage of a company like Arm right now. Talk to me a little bit about the ETF and what it offers investors in terms of opportunity. Absolutely. Um, yeah, the ETF uh, provides a complementary uh, set of indices. Um, we like to say, or we like to say that. Um, it offers investors access to new stocks, which you most often will not get in major in, uh, benchmark indices um, for months, maybe years after their IPO. Um, so you're getting access to new technologies, um, fresh names, smaller companies sometimes um, that have the possibility to, live, to, to deliver um, impressive gains. There are so many names out here uh, Reddit, for instance, uh, and, and speculation about whether IPAs are. Oh, IPOs are going to happen. Can you give me a sense of the names that are engendering a lot of enthusiasm? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you hit the nail on the head with Reddit. I think that is the big name that everybody is thinking about right now. Um, it's expected in March, um, and it's going to be the real first test this year of appetite for a more traditional tech IPO. Um, we also have our eye on some more tech IPOs like Service Titan and Rubrik, um, as well as, like you mentioned, consumer plays like Panera uh, and Liquid Death. 